Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today I've got a, a sambar recipe for you. This is a recipe from the southern part of India and sambar is usually accompanied by idlis, medu vadas, masala dosas. So here are the ingredients for making it at home and just like the restaurant it will taste. Here I've got half cup of tuwar dal or pigeon peas and I have cooked it with two teacups of water, three tomatoes, half teaspoon of salt, one four teaspoon of turmeric powder and I pressure cooked it for four whistles. The vegetables are purely optional. You can use whatever you want. So I'm using some cauliflower, ladyfinger, onion, cluster beans or gavar, carrots and thinly. You can add anything. You can even add brinjols and pumpkins. Now for the tempering, I have curry leaves. I have dried red chilli, a pinch of fenugreek seeds, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of mustard seeds, half a teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and a pinch of asafoetida or hing. I have got tamarind water. I took a ball, a lemon sized ball of tamarind, soaked it into warm water and then I squeezed out the pulp. Uh, so half a teaspoon here if i need more i will be adding and then i have got sambal masala i'm using eastern because it just gives taste like that of a restaurant so i'm going to start by adding some uh, fenugreek seeds let them sizzle and then i'm going to add the uh, methi rice seeds or mustard seeds the cumin seeds so the seeds have started spluttering so i'm going to add the uh, red chili cumin sorry curry leaves then goes the asafoetida, the ginger garlic paste and we are going to mix it. Ginger garlic has got, uh, is cooked so now I am going to start by adding all the hard vegetables first. We are going to cook it. Initially we are going to cook the hard vegetables. I have not added the bhindi because it cooks really fast. So just will saute it for a minute or so. After sorting for a minute, I am going to add the salt. I am also going to add a tablespoon of the sambar masala. Initially, we are just adding a tablespoon. If we need more, we will add in the later part. So now I am just going to add half a cup of water which was left in the pressure cooker and we are going to cook till the vegetables are soft but not mushy. The vegetables are done here totally. They are soft but not mushy like I wanted. So now I am going to add the lady fingers. They cook really fast so you don't need to actually wait till uh, they are done but still I am just going to cover it for another 5 minutes so that the lady finger becomes five minutes. I am just going to add this tuwar dal. It is also called as pigeon peas. So I am just going to add this and if you want more looser gravy a very loose gravy then you can add two teacups of water another half teaspoon of salt and i'm also going to add the tamarind water to it you can add according to your taste if you want more tanginess you can add so i did a taste test and i'm going to add another tablespoon of sambar masala so here goes in the sambar masala and if you if this kind of a gravy uh, this kind of consistency for sambar is all right then uh, it's okay uh, but if you want you can add another tea, teacup of water uh, so now we'll just let it boil on a high flame for about uh, five minutes our dal has been boiling for five minutes and it's giving out a very beautiful aroma so now it's ready to be so served. guys here our restaurant style sambar is ready you can serve it with idli, medu vadas, masala dosas. So guys, do give it a try. Post your comments and share my videos with your family and friends. And thank you for watching my video.